So, um, on the subject of the cope, here's Laura Ingram talking about... Now, again, this is just a hypothetical scenario, but imagine Donald Trump loses the election. I know, I know, I know. Impossible, right? But Laura Ingram's going to walk us through the just the idea that this might be a thing that could occur. Thank goodness. Third, if and when it's time to accept an unfavorable outcome in this election, and we hope it never comes, but if and when that does happen, President Trump needs to do it with the same grace and composure he demonstrated at that town hall with Savannah Guthrie. So many people remarked about his tone and presence, exactly what he needs. This tone? In this presence? Retweet. That was a, an opinion of somebody, but, and that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't, get that. You're I don't the take president. a position. You're not like okay. All right. He totally handled that with grace. Exactly what he needs. Now, losing, especially when you believe the process wasn't fair, it's a gut punch. And I'm not conceding anything tonight, by the way. But losing, if that's what happens, it's awful. But President Trump's legacy will only become more significant if he focuses on moving the country forward. And then the love and respect his supporters feel for him, it's only going to grow stronger. And his legacy, more historically significant. The media knows he'll be a GOP kingmaker for 2022 and 2024, no doubt. They know he's a political hero to tens of millions of Americans. This sounds like a eulogy. Laura Ingram is literally delivering a eulogy. Like, legit, if Donald Trump hit the ground screaming, right, she would have been saying the same fucking shit. If Donald Trump got up there at 2 a.m. the night after the election, right, you know, the morning of the next day after the election, and just was like this, if he just got onto the podium and was like... And he's like this, and we will... Ah, ah, I need water. Help me. I need water. Help. Like if, if he just got up there and then just hit the ground screaming, this is something that Laura Ingram would say. But newsflash, Laura, Donald Trump is still alive. In his world and in your world, you said yourself you're not conceding. In this world that you're living in, he's like getting, he's getting cheated and he won. So why are you eulogizing the president if you think that he got cheated and he has a rightful place on the presidency? If you genuinely think that Donald Trump got cheated and he deserves the second term, if you genuinely believe that, you wouldn't be eulogizing his campaign. You would be energizing your base to stop the vote or count the vote, whichever one, depending on where they live. Your mileage may vary. But uh, instead, she's going up there, <laughs> delivering very nice remarks at the uh, the, <laughs> the Trump 2020 campaign, uh, the, the funeral for the Trump 2020 campaign. That's just, it's just really funny. Again, this is, this is what's happening. I want I want this to be known. This is the theme of today's episode. Donald Trump's soul-crushing reality looms. The race hasn't technically been called. There's still a chance, right? Trump still has a path to victory, right? <laughs> what are you going to do? Only the really... I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ... <laughs> would think that Donald Trump was cheated in the 2020 election. Let me just tell you, believe me.